What's going on guys? Cody from Motorcycle MD. Welcome back to the KZ400. We have to work again on the front end of this thing so that we can make some type of bracket that can fit the ignition switch as well as some new indicator lights I think you guys might like. Super simple, cut down, basic, but we have to hand craft this thing to fit on what we've now chopped off and done to the front dash, we'll say, of this bike. I'm really trying to keep this tracker build simple, dirty, a little grungy and really trying to keep the hand-built aesthetic on this bike by not making everything pristine and perfect and CNC'd. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do videos on motorcycle repair and maintenance and project bikes and motor rebuilds and all different types of stuff. I try to bring some sort of value to each video that you can take home and use on your own bike. And if you enjoy working on your own bike, taking care of it, wrenching on it whenever you want, properly. In the description, there's a free course, 40 plus videos on how to do it the right way. Being a Honda technician for over a decade, I've seen some things, things that I want to share with you in the description. Pick that up before you go. That being said, let's dive into this KZ. They make me a template. So I'm thinking that if we if we make something like this, we can have a spot for the ignition switch to sit in. And I have a spot, I'll put a link in the description, but from Alpine Tech, you're able to get individual indicator lights made up. So got a neutral light that should be green and a high beam light, which should be blue or purple or something, but really well made. From what I can tell, I've never used these people before, but I just found them. A little power and ground, we can put that into the harness. So we can find a place for these to go as well. Something kind of like that that will sit in there, but it's a little bit too close. We need to make this a little bit longer. And this is fine. And I think it's gonna, I'm gonna have to kind of carve this section out so it can sit closer up to that meter. But that's what we're thinking. The other thing I was thinking is like, I don't really know how I like you being able to see that part hanging out but it's so long that like to do a somewhere to cover it up would just be pretty difficult and I think it would look kind of dumb so we're just gonna go a flat piece of steel and you'll be able to see it unfortunately because I just can't think of a, be a bezel type situation for it like, it'd be cool if I could take this and then bend that and then bend that. I don't know. What do I know? But maybe the exposed look would be what we're going for. So, whatever. That'll do. I just got this thing and I have no idea what I'm doing, so. But here's the thing, I don't really like it anymore. I thought I would, but I mean, I'm I'm on to something, right? But I just don't like how it ends. Like you're gonna clearly see some switches through here. I almost wish, I, I wish I had a welder and I wish I knew how to weld, but it's not something that I have ventured into yet. I wish this could be boxed off, right? Box, box, and then have like a nice cool little curve section going up to not have to pass through like i have a full bend you know blah, 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 blah. i'm just saying a bunch of stuff i don't know if i'm sold on this yet this is a good idea but it just looks too cheap i don't know all right so i don't like it i would like it to be covered up i'm glad i bought a bunch of this stuff so what i want to do is i do like that design obviously but i need to add a one inch bend up front and a one inch bend to the side. 
and we're gonna box it, and then we're gonna kind of make a cool design out of it. It'll be a one-off little control box for the ignition switch and our two indicators, plus mounting bolts for that as well. So we're gonna do this again. Two and a half. Two and a half. Why is that not two and a half? What the hell is wrong with this thing? Okay, let's overcomplicate this to the max, shall we? Okay, so that's gonna be the bent over part. That's the bend. One hour later. I'm not good at this, but that's as good as it's gonna get. Jesus. Really, I'm just trying to get it to look nice and even. So underneath this are the mounting bolts. It's not, we're not doing it. Oh, we're not? No. I mean, I was hoping this would make a mark on it. Drilled out. I mean that, so the tack can sit not up against it, and that looks pretty good. But I could probably cut this in a little bit, cause that won't be able to sit flush. My ignition switch can go here. So and that little X I got right there is like freaking dead nuts. That's what's up. We got our little indicators. So I'm just gonna do this by eye. I want one right there, there. Noise. I think it looks pretty damn good. I kind of like the rawness of it. I'm gonna heat treat this metal so it won't rust, but I'm not gonna paint it. So I'm gonna leave it metal looking and leave it looking kind of gross. I think it's cool. So now we need to trim the fat on this. This is the other 
attack that has all I'm going to use is the high beam and the neutral light. If you're concerned about having an oil light on your on this bike, then you probably shouldn't own it. Just check the oil. So no stop lamp light. We don't need none of that. So here's our mm, high beam light right here, and we have our neutral light right here. So I want to keep this connector though. I want to plug and play it as cleanly as possible. Alright, so neutral is right here. That shares uh, probably a ground. Everything else can go. So we can actually just push the rest of them out and not cut them. Bingo! And we can keep the same setup like this, which is cool. Now we can actually just verify, and we can just do a quick check on them. We got neutral light, so we know it's working, low beam, high beam, and the high beam indicator. So we know that's all working, which is great. I want to say this is probably power. We can cut these. Trip them back. I'm gonna assume that red is positive and black is ground. I'm gonna assume that black with the stripe is power. Or maybe red is, I don't know, we'll see. If anything, it just won't work, so. Chop these lights, get the full effect of the color. So neutral, I don't have any lights in here yet. They're just not hooked in, so that won't light up, but. Key on, there's neutral. Fantastic, and high beam. Sweet! I dig it. And for reference sake, I believe this is still hooked up. Yep. Small little tail light. We will have a license plate light, but we're just gonna run the license plate mounting bolt lights on that. I like the way that that's positioned. And That will wrap this one up guys, but before we go, I want to show you a final product of what I did off camera that I want to give a huge shout out to Dan over at Cafe Racer Garage. If you guys want to watch someone who actually knows what they're doing and can build some dope looking bikes, be sure to check out his channel. I'll link it in the description. But he recently did a video on how to heat treat metal to keep it from rusting and just quenching it in oil and it was awesome. I loved it. And that's exactly what I did here. I'm going to show you guys real quick the final result. But again, Dan, thank you for making that video. Super helpful. Keep crushing it, man. Guys, check them out and you won't be disappointed. That being said, next week we will be finalizing all the front controls and headlights and wiring and things that need to happen before it's done and lock it all in, clean the wiring up. We need to make a hole through the headlight for the speedometer cable. We got to do some stuff. And we'll be finalizing that next week. So be sure to check it out again. Subscribe if you're into this type of stuff. Cody from Motorcycle MD bringing you guys some quality tips and tricks for your next build or your daily rider. See you next time. Later.